Hi, this is Mr. Vandergriff. I wanted to do a recap on our activity we did in class called creating a periodic table. And if you remember that one of the objects was I was giving you a bag full of different objects, as you can see right here. And in here were these different objects. And you needed to take those objects and carefully examine the objects and then identify a missing object. Then I wanted you to describe in as many ways as possible that you could imagine what you think that missing object was, what it looked like, how much you think it weighed, um, what do you think its diameter was, and uh, details like that. And then after that, through a lot of um, critical thinking and application, you guys came up with a pattern like this and uh, many of you you weighed everything you measured it and you put it in this pattern you created your own as it were your own periodic table now if you take a look at this periodic table most groups came up with one missing item it was item number 19 they could not find it they didn't know what it was uh, they found this item here they measured it weighed it this item here it weighed it measured it this item here but it, it appeared that this item was missing right here. Now, what's really cool is this activity ties right into our interactive reader and what we've been learning about the first periodic table. And that first periodic, the first periodic table was created by a man by the name of Dmitry Mendeleev, a Russian chemist. And you can see in this picture here, he's playing a little bit of like element solitaire, trying to figure out some patterns and then through reading our interactive reader if you take if you remember taking a look this was the first periodic table right here and he laid all the elements that had patterns and some type of similarities but he found some gaps he found some missing parts so he left question marks there thinking you know what in the future those will probably be um, discovered now go ahead and take a look at, uh, this chart that he came up with is pretty cool. This is the property of germanium and in 1869 germanium had not yet been discovered Now the element gallium which has a um, atomic number of 31 was discovered and then there was the element um, Arsenic that had a that had an atomic number of 33 that was discovered but element number 32 that would have 32 protons in its nucleus, that's atomic number, it was not discovered. But what Mendeleev did is he said, you know what, I bet according to my pattern, I'm going to make a prediction from the element before and after. And I bet that this element probably has an atomic mass of 70. Look how close he was later on when actually germanium was actually discovered in 1871. It had 72.6 AMU measurement. I mean, that's only a difference of 2.6 AMU. Look how close he was. The density he predicted would be 5.5 grams per centimeter cubed. And take a look. It was 5.3 grams per centimeter cubed. Really close. He said it'd be a dark gray metal. It was a gray metal. High melting point? Definitely high melting point. So really cool that he was able, through these um, patterns and periods and families and groups, come up with these predictions very, very close of what they actually really were when they were discovered in 1871. Now getting back to our activity, you guys put all the pattern, you put all of them according to patterns and rows and groups, and you actually uh, measured with uh, in millimeters the length of the diameter, and you also used the triple beam balance to get the mass in grams. And most people predicted, hey, this number, element number 19 was missing. And so later on, uh, I had you make some predictions of what you thought, what its shape was, its characteristics, its texture, how its mass, and its diameter in millimeters. And then later on, I showed you exactly what that item looked like. Just between item 18 and 20, had you make some predictions, and then we actually took the real measurements. And just like uh, Mendeleev's predictions with germanium, some of you, most of you, many of you were extremely close. You realize that um, it had 12 sprockets. Some of your predictions were 12, some were 11, some were 10, but very close. 
um, its mass was 0.55, or if you round it to that, 0.6 grams. Many of you, again, were very, very, very close. And last, that its diameter was 13 millimeters across. And again, um, if you take a look right here, I think it was 15 millimeters here and eight here. So some of you estimated and did a great job. So I was really pleased and proud of how well you guys um, performed on this activity and that you were able to use some of the skills we've been learning in class and actually apply them uh, in scene and kind of reproducing how one of the first, the first periodic table was created. So hopefully you enjoy the activity and this book was created. So hopefully you enjoy that.